Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker Tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to be uh, starting to make our player be able to move um, and uh, it's quite a complicated way of doing it. Um, I might not get through it all in this um, one video. It will probably go on to about two or three maybe. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go into our player which is where we're going to be doing all of our work. Okay, so we're going to make a create some um, event and drag us some code. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just make some variables uh, that we're going to use later. Um, some of them we probably won't use much at all, but uh, very key. So this is going to be our gravity. We're going to just shorten it to grav, and it's going to be equal one. Okay, you can play around with these variables. You know, make them whatever you want. Speed's going to be 4, so that's how fast we're going to travel. Jump speed equals 8. Don't increase the jump speed too much, though, I believe. Um, otherwise, you uh, like glitch through blocks. Um, so I think 8's the maximum. Or 8's a good, eight's, eight's a good uh, value. So our horizontal speed to start with is going to be 0. Our vertical speed to start with is going to be zero still. Um, um, I don't know. Let's just set image speed to zero. You know, in case you are using stuff with different um, different variables and stuff. Then I think we. Um, I don't think we do. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm going to put this in because um, you might be having the same issue as me. But basically, this num we're going to use later, quite a lot later, when we actually go into mining speeds and stuff. Um, the reason I put it in is because on mine, I don't know if this is just a known glitch or something, but um, the alarms on mine actually don't work. So I have to actually physically make my alarms by using a number and counting up every step. So yeah, I'll just leave that in there um, for the minute. We won't actually use that. But uh, yeah, okay. So uh, let's go and make our step event, which is what we're going to put all most of our, um, well, all of our uh, coding in. So we're going to call this jump, uh, hop, skip and jump. That's quite a funny name. Because that's what it is, pretty much. We're going to be able to make ourselves move. And uh, first thing we're going to do is make it really, really super efficient by uh, putting these things in. So we're going to put var, uh, r key, var l key, and var j key. So what these are is it just assign them a key at the start so instead of having to write keyword check uh, or word D uh, which would normally have to do for write we can just put J or R key okay so we're gonna put keyboard check or D um, I think that's the right amount and we can just copy this and then just change the letters. So that's going to be A and that's going to be W. Um, also, we need to change this to pressed because that's going to be our jumping and we don't want to be. Uh, we want to check if it's pressed, not held down. Okay, so now we're going to um, check for some ground. So this is um, going to be checking whether we are touching the round. Um, I forgot to mention by the way uh, what we're actually doing here you won't be able to see if it works or not because we're going to be um, creating this for the future probably around episode like three or four this will actually be able to work and we'll be able to do it because obviously it revolves around creating our level which we haven't done yet um, and um, either way I do it it's going to take me roughly around uh, 40 to 30 minutes to actually create everything. 
So yeah, that's why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it this way around. It doesn't matter which way around, but so we're gonna have in the future we're gonna have a script grid place meeting, which will check whether we are uh, touching anything. Um, so basically, we're gonna be checking here. So it's not it's not gonna like this here. Um, hmm. So for the minute. Yeah, for the minute we'll just comment this bit out. Because otherwise it's just going to chuck up errors every time you load up your game. So when this is actually... Um, when you are actually in future videos, we will actually get rid of this. So uh, if we are um, touching the ground, we don't want to move anymore. So we're going to set our vertical speed back to zero. Okay, so... Um, still in this bit here we're just gonna put actually instead of doing all this let's just put that there because a lot of this will be end up commented out because um, uh, it doesn't like it obviously we, we, we will definitely sort this out so this is gonna be for our jumping so um if jump key uh what there we go wait is this not uh oh okay so if we pressed our jump key um vertical speed equals negative j speed so our negative jump speed so we're gonna go up basically um so um if we are not touching the ground so we're gonna put an else in uh, we're gonna activate our gravity which will pull us down um so if v speed equal is uh less than ten so if we are traveling at less than 10 I think this works V speed plus equals gravity so we're gonna add to our V speed which will bring us down depending on our gravity which is 1 okay so um, this will work for jumping now um, now we've just got to move so we've got to do some moving here so this bit we don't actually need to comment out at all. Um, is that right? No, wrong way around. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we can do moving to the right. Um, so how are we going to move to the right? If right key um, we are going to h speed equals speed. So we're going to set our horizontal speed to our speed. Okay. Um, moving to the left now. Very similar, but instead of uh, equals positive speed, we're obviously going to do negative speed. So if L key h speed equals negative speed. And uh, yeah, we can now move to the left and right, and we can jump. So um, after all we've done this, we're going to activate our script to move um, with our H speed. Uh, okay, I can't spell then to do, and our vertical speed. So uh, yeah, we will definitely in the next video be going on to doing the script move and the uh, script grid place meeting. Uh, so, um, that's the end of the video, I think. That is our 10 minutes up. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, you know, do whatever you guys do. Um, and I will talk to you later.